is Fleet Week here in Boston, and that means Navy ships are docked here and open to the public for viewing this weekend. But it is a first time opportunity the Navy SEALs have come to Boston to challenge us to a, fit, a physical fitness test to see if you have the right stuff. That is to finish the armed services hardest test. Well, guess who did it this morning? New Center 5's Gail Huff. She took the Trident Challenge. One, two, three, begin. We started the Trident One, Challenge with sit-ups. In two minutes, two, young three, Navy SEALs in training four, are expected to do 80, five, a minimum four, of 42. Six, I passed seven, with 55. Eight, eight, eight. Nine. No rest, ten, it's on to push ups. Again, five, two minutes, three, they three, want 80. Four, I gave them a five, minimum of 42, but we'd only just begun. I think a lot of people are, are good at one or two of these events. They're good swimmers, they're good runners, or they're good in the gym and, do, and working out, but they've never done something where they have to do all of it together. Pull ups, I did 15 with a little help. A mile and a half run under 11 minutes, I was two minutes short, and finally 20 laps in the pool. I beat the clock by one second. Taking place at Boston University tomorrow, the Physical Fitness Challenge goes out to all of you. Men and women, ages 13 and up, are invited to come out. Uh, you guys can come in groups and challenge each other, you know, do it for bragging rights within friends. The Trident Challenge is traveling cross-country after its debut in Boston. Ultimately, the goal is to find more SEALs. It's not tough to find people that want to be Navy SEALs. It's tough to find people that can make it through the training program. Only one out of every four guys passes, and women can't be SEALs, but here's proof that we can pass the test, too. I got a t-shirt. For New Center 5, I'm Gail Hoff.